Hey folks, Steve here. How y'all doing? Just a quick unboxing of a new tool. What instigated this tool is that we are in the final phase, if you will, of a remodel of a kitchen and family room. Opened up a wall that was non-load bearing and made it all one space. Re-rocked, new insulation, furred out the wall so we could get 2x6 insulation in there, so R high density R23, and all kinds of other things. New kitchen. Cabinets went in yesterday, I think, yesterday, and so I was told last night, hey Spence, today expect window and trim. We have a new window to put in the kitchen, it's in, we're going to pick it up and uh, we're going to install that today, and we're also going to be doing trim. So there is, of course, with the cabinets in, we have baseboard, and we'll have crown, so with a crown riser and crown, so a two-part crown. And we have a little bit still around the room, some uh, just room baseboard and uh, trim that was going to abut or come close to the kitchen cabinets that we left that off just to make sure that we did things in order. Well, I'm also working on my own project, which is uh, my laundry room upstairs uh, on the second floor for my wife. And so we're really excited about getting that room for her. It's been a long time in the making. Cabinets were delivered about a week ago. I got them installed the following day, templated the countertop the following day after that, and then the next day after that I did all the baseboard trim. Uh, I can't do anything else until the counters come in, then I can put my towers on the counters, and then I can finish trimming everything else. So all of this cabinets going in and trimming made me think of, there is a tool that I like, and that's that 23 gauge headless pin nailer. And so I have a 23 gauge air nailer. I love that thing. It's really tiny. And I, w I should have brought it in, but I didn't. And so uh, I love that thing. Once I discovered it had a use, it came in a kit. You know, I have four nailers, and that was the one that was used even less than the, the stapler. And so for me, it was uh, 18 gauge, and it was 16 gauge. Yeah, I didn't have a 15, I had a 16 gauge. So that's all it was, right? Well, I was watching a video, and I think it was a Ron Paul video, go figure, <laughs> and he was using a 23 gauge pin nailer and explaining what he was doing with them as far as holding miters to outside miters together and a few other things like that, and good for temporary nailing if you have to just put things together temporarily uh, because they pull out and they leave such a tiny hole. So I thought, ooh, okay, so I started using my air pin nailer, and I love it. But of course, now you have to drag the air out. So, you know, I've got to pull the cord out and, you know, it's all of that stuff that's associated with the trailer. Happy to have it. Happy to have it in the trailer and all that. We're, we're just not pulling the air out like we did because we have a lot, of, a lot of cordless now. So I got online. I heard about the fact that DeWalt had a 23 gauge cordless. So I looked around, looked around, couldn't find it on Amazon, surprisingly, but I found it on Home Depot. Two days later, thing shows up 200 and... $250 ish. I'm just going to unbox this and see what we have in the box. Of course, I know exactly that it's it's just a bare tool. Here we go. Well, belt clip. Sample nails. One inch. Of which I actually have a ton of those things. And come ship, at least this one came shipped like that. Manual, and from the manual you can see the part number or the tool model number. And then the tool itself. Yay! Yay! Looks like it has a tip protector, so uh, or a surface protector. And other than that. Loading the magazine, just squeeze and pull, and then load the magazine somewhat horizontally so your nails orient correctly. And I believe most pin nails have an arrow direction as to the way they want to load. Snap in place, and you're good to go. It does have a safety trigger, so right there is a safety trigger, and then the actuator. Other than that, I don't know much, honestly, about this gun. I've seen it used uh, in a couple of videos just to make sure that it was the thing that I wanted to buy. And no one had any issues with it, so there we go. Uh, looks like we have some lights on this thing. And I didn't, I just, this was on the countertop when I got home. Thought I'd shoot this quick video. I didn't bother to bring in any batteries for my trailer. And I should have grabbed my air nailer just to show size. But it's 
I would say probably two thirds the size of this and certainly, you know, maybe half the weight of this thing. This thing here, probably two or three pounds, not real heavy, but certainly bulky heavy. And the other one, you know, it's, it's not quite like picking up air and you have the cord, but certainly it is a small, very lightweight nailer. So if I had air, I'd choose that one. But if I don't want to pull air out, I'm slowly but surely developing a way to do it with cord, uh, do it cordless and hose cordless. So thank you very much for sticking with me. Uh, I'm really anxious to put this thing to work. I don't know if I will be putting it to work tomorrow because I'll still be on electrical, but I will offer this up to the fellas, uh, specifically Carl, uh, who is my business partner, and see if he wants to use this uh, when he pins some of his 45s together uh, just with glue. And I should have to actually offer him my miter clamps as well uh, because right now he's shooting using his 18 gauge and so you're getting a sufficient no, uh, nail size and this is in finish, pre-finished crown and pre-finished crown riser. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, as always, I expect it to be a two-minute video, and it always ends up being five, six, ten minutes long. <laughs> but thanks a lot. Uh, like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. Share with somebody, and that would be great. It would be nice to be able to uh, grow my subscriber base and reach a few more people out there. Here's an addendum to my unboxing. So right here they sent, uh, sorry about the you know pinching fingers and causing black fingernails and all that stuff. But they'll get better in, in another month or two. But they sent this little tag for best performance use Porter Cable or DeWalt 23 gauge pin nails, right? Okay, I'm, with, I'm down with that. Uh, I'd buy a lot of Porter Cable nails uh, like that. Uh, they're less expensive than the DeWalt. But in this box, what did they send me? Bostitch, and they say I'm the goofball. <laughs> oh, the things I'm amused by. All right, hey, take care. Hey, folks, just a quick update. So it's the following day. I took this tool into work today, and we were shooting crown and baseboard. I only worked on the baseboard because I had to finish up electrical and uh, one of our guys was finishing up a window and then Carl dove on the crown and when I was done with electrical I jumped on the base around all of the cabinets so it's a pre-finished base. And I will say that on the outside miters not only did I use the miter spring clamps and uh, really, you know, I, I love those things uh, ever since I discovered them on YouTube. So why do I do this? Because I get ideas from YouTube and maybe it's something that I can pass on to somebody else that goes, oh, you know, I didn't think about it that way, or maybe I should, or maybe I'll never do it that way, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. What I can say though is, because the trailer's out there and I left the gun in the trailer, but this thing, love it, love it. It functions as expected because it's just like the air nailer. A little heavier, I understand all that but it functions just like the air nailer and it did everything I needed to do. And my air nailers, I think only go up to an inch and a quarter while this thing will take inch and a half just in case you need the longer pins. And I do have some pins on order that will come in. Otherwise I'm just shooting one inch. It's all I have in my stock right now, but shot several pins through it today. We had one misfire uh, because I, you know, I forget that there is no on uh, a nose guard to depress you just put it against the material key the trigger and it shoots a nail and if you don't depress if you don't push it against material and you pull the trigger you get a nail so with that being said uh, I did have one misfire I just wasn't thinking but it didn't hurt anything didn't do anything it was right there with wood I just that was not expecting and so I had to tink it a little bit in it just didn't go all the way in but no problem there at all so I can't say that I've shot a thousand pins out of this thing yet, but I have shot more than five. And because of that, it's, it's a tool that I'm now happy to have in my tool cadre. And slowly but surely, I think I will wean my way away from air. The only air that I would need is just to clean off my tools from that compressor because I would be able to do everything airless uh, because of cordless um, tools, which is really cool. Now, if I could just get away from extension cords and get a cordless table saw in a cordless miter box that would be something that would be something um yeah wow dreaming on that one hey thank you very much for sticking with me just wanted to give you a quick day after update from the unboxing and it's working fine and i'm happy to have it 250 dollars plus tax got it out of home depot not amazon amazon 
it was, I don't even know if I could purchase it without uh, buying it as a kit and it wasn't Prime. So this came Prime. It's like Home Depot Prime, two days. And it shipped right to my house. I didn't have to go to the store to get it. And they did not have it in stock in the store anyway. So there you have it, folks. Thank you very much for sticking with me. Have a good day.